Hey guys, it's Chris Byrne, the Toy Guy, and you're watching Delmarva Life. Hang on and let's rock out. <laughs> you never let me do that. Oh, sure, anytime you want. Okay, good, good. <laughs> well, Delmarva has a way of drawing people in. There's just something about the area that once you're here, you have a hard time leaving. And that was certainly the case with Maurice Stein. He came to Delmarva in 1930 looking for a place to raise a family and wound up creating a business that's still operating today. The name Stuart Kingston has been linked to Rehoboth Beach for quite some time. The family-run business has been doing the same thing in the same location for nearly 85 years. My grandfather, Maurice Stein, uh, came to Rehoboth in 1930. He was living in New York City at the time with my grandmother, and I think he was actually on his way to Florida, and he found Rehoboth by chance, because he did not want to raise kids in the city. And he found this little town and fell in love with it and developed our store. That store was a consignment shop that held auctions every night. And in a time that there wasn't much going on in the area, it provided entertainment. Back in the day, there was really nothing to do in Rehoboth. Um, we didn't have the bar scene and all the restaurants we had today. Uh, we had the Henlopen Hotel, which had a beautiful ballroom restaurant. And the people would go there for dinner, and then they would come over here for their entertainment um, the mid part of the evening and, and come to the auctions. And then they would go back to the Henlopen for drinks and dancing in the evening. The business was eventually passed along to Jay Stein, and now his wife and daughter Maria are at the helm. My brother and sister and I grew up coming into the store as children, playing. Um, my brother basically got involved in the business as a child. He, he worked cleaning ashtrays every night after the auctions. And then my brother, one of the things that he did, uh, he was very instrumental in getting us back into estate auctions. Unfortunately, I lost my brother in 1997, and I actually had to learn from him and go forward to taking the auctions to where they are today. And where they are today is one of the oldest and well-respected family-run businesses on Delmarva. I'm pretty sure in Sussex County that we are the only remaining family business in the same location with the same family. Which makes the decision to move to a new location that much more difficult. For the first time in nearly 85 years, Stuart Kingston will not call this place home. I think in order for the Stuart Kingston name to go on, we, we have to move with the times. Also, our auction business has grown so incredibly that it's very difficult to be in two locations at the same time. And our auction house currently has been on Rehoboth Avenue for the past 15 years. So we're just going to move to where our auction house is. They will also be moving their jewelry store to the new location, allowing other families' traditions to continue. I have clients literally in the tri-state area that their, their parents bought from my dad and their parents' parents bought from my grandfather. And I'm selling to their kids now. But not all things will be the same. So at the new location, you're not going to have a room dedicated just to rugs. No, but we will continue to sell them at auction. Well, I mean, that kind of makes sense. They're huge, must take up a lot of room. Yeah, and heavy. Would you like to try throwing a rug? Throwing a rug? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> well, basically, the only way that you can see a rug to sell a rug is to drop or throw a rug. I'll give it a try. OK, first, you need to grab the corner. OK. And then Give it a little air. Okay, <laughs> do that, fold it one more time, okay. and then drop it down. That's heavy. Yeah. Does anyone ever want to see the ones on the bottom? Oh, all the time. <laughs> As Maria prepares for these changes, she looks back on the time she spent at Stuart Kingston and the countless hours she spent working with her father. You know, he was, uh, he was a, an incredibly bright and talented man who had a wealth of knowledge when it came to gemstones and diamonds and objects of art. He, he had, he had a, a dynamic personality that people just gravitated towards him. And I had the privilege of working side by side with him and learning from him all these years. Moving forward, she hopes the name Stuart Kingston continues. I want Stuart Kingston's name to, to continue on, continuing on. You know, I, obviously I'd like to see it become 100 years old, which I know I can do. So, 
and then maybe my nephews might want to get involved. Now, the move really isn't all that far. The distance from the old location to the new, it's only about a mile. So they won't be hard to find. They won't be hard to find. All right. Well, still ahead on Delmarva Life, we're getting some holiday help. The toy guy drops in with his list of must-have toys this Christmas season. Plus, we want to be sure that our kids are safe with the toys they want, so we are putting them to the toy safety test. And since we're in the season of giving, we're giving here on Delmarva Life. Over the next several weeks, we're going to be giving out gift cards and other goodies to some of your favorite Delmarva businesses. Entering is easy. To learn more on how you can win a gift card or services valued at at least $50, go to WBOC.com and click on the Delmarva Life Holiday Guide tab. And we have two winners of two different gift cards today. Our first winner from Wicomico County, Ida Luffman of Willards. Congratulations, you won a $50 gift card to Landis Farms from Delaware Christmas Tree Growers. Our second winner, Margaret Tippett of Clayton and Kent County. You won a $50 gift card to Suicide Bridge Restaurant. Congratulations. Come over life. We'll be right back.